Hi ho, Larissa here, and in this video we're going to discuss the five remarkable reasons that I discovered that ended up being important to me when I was choosing from the limited floor plans that my builder had to offer. Now I know out there that there's plenty of checklists already and videos of inspiring influencers who are gorgeous and richer than me that talk about all the amenities that you would want in your most perfect floor plan for a newly bit home. However, one of the actual checklists I found online said that you had to make sure that the ceiling height was a certain height and that you made sure that you had the correct cornices. I actually had to Google cornices and I found out it's just a fancy word for crown molding. One of the checklists that I found said to make sure that your windows worked with the prevailing winds in your area. I, I just was glad that the windows opened and shut really easily. My favorite part of one of the checklists was to make sure that your outdoor living space was al fresco. I didn't even know you could make pasta on a grill. Now, we all know that we want a decent sized living room, a master bedroom, a really nice kitchen. We want to make sure we have an ensuite bathroom with the master. But here are some surprising things that I discovered during my floor plan search that actually ended up being really important. You know, I had to come off of the amazing Victorian meets Frank Lloyd Wright meets Cabin and Aspen idea that I had to what I could actually get. So let me list the five things that turned out to be good for me and my husband. Number one in this day and age was home office space and not just for me but for my husband as well. We are no longer just living in the bedroom and the kitchen and the living room and the bathroom. We now have an extra space that we need and that's a home workspace. Who wants to just stick a desk in a corner somewhere and throw a laptop on top of it and call it a home office? If you're going to be spending hours of your day in that space, then you're going to want to make it comfortable. You're going to want to make it for you. Another thing that I found out when I was looking through the different options that I had was that both of my husband and I have learned that we need our bathroom space space. In other words, he needs his bathroom and I need my bathroom without actually having two bathrooms. We work in different ways and I wear contact lenses and he shaves. Let me just say that little bitty bits of shaving hairs are really painful when they get near contact lenses. So we discovered that there are floor plans out there that are better for us bathroom wise than others. Another thing that was very important to me specifically was we can't afford a lot of square footage. Not just because it's a more expensive home, but it's be more expensive to maintain. And with it just being me and my husband, and since we were okay with a smaller size home, every space had to work efficiently. So things like a formal dining room, a living room, and a family room, and super high cathedral ceilings, whatever, that all went out the door. I never understood the purpose of having a space just to stare out and go, look at, look at that pretty formal living room that we have there that we never sit in and we never use, but boy, it's impressive. That's, that's not us. <laughs> that's not us. So every square footage in this floor plan had to work. Number one, home office space. Number two, bathroom space, space. Number three, no wasted space. Let me ask you, are you the kind of person that likes to have that formal dining room for those three occasions a year? Maybe you're somebody who throws dinner parties constantly. I would like to hear your opinions on doubling space. Like if we eat in the kitchen, we also eat in the dining room or we sit in the family room and we also sit in the living room. Tell me why you feel that it's okay to have double spaces or why you agree with me that it's stupid to have <laughs> doubled spaces. And just let me know in the comments because I really would like to understand. Okay, so number four 
that was important to us was access outdoors. So we wanted to make sure that even though we weren't interested in a large lot or a large amount of land that we had to maintain, because frankly, we we hate to mow lawns and, and stuff like that, but we still wanted to have a private outdoor space that we could enjoy. We were really excited when the floor plan that we found had huge windows so that we could bring the outdoors indoors. You know, in winter, we could still run the curtains open and still enjoy our outdoor space without actually having to be outdoors. Number five was pet space. Now, we don't have dogs, but we do have cats. It was important to us that the house had opportunities for places for us to hide litter boxes or to give them scratching areas, sleeping areas. We even are going to have a catio in the future. So it was important to us that there would be a space that would be a transition spot between inside and outside where our cats can enjoy the outside as well. And that was something that you wouldn't find on the normal checklist for how to pick your house floor plan. If you agree that meeting the needs of your pets in whatever floor plan that you're choosing is important too, I would appreciate a like real quick. I would like to know that you agree. So lastly, one of the things, it's not really about the floor plan, but we were disappointed to find out that there really wasn't any options from our builder to include a fireplace. We are moving to Colorado and they have some cold winters and I have this fear of the electric going out and me freezing my little patootie. A nice backup that we were given is that our home actually does have natural gas lines and we could run a natural gas line out to the barbecue in the backyard. One of the things you can do is run a generator off of that natural gas line. So we do have a backup for a little bit of heat, a little bit of light, and a little bit of ability to cook even when the electric goes out. So my fears <laughs> of becoming a frozen Larissa sickle during a major blizzard have been assured. And I would encourage you to check out future videos that I'm going to make about what we're doing to create that alternative fireplace without having to build a chimney in our home. Bye, bye, bye.